Here is the transmitter and receiver that we've included in your Century 300 gate opener kit. The receiver can store up to 42 unique transmitter and dip switch code settings. Now let's take a closer look at how to program your receiver and remote transmitter. Okay, what we're going to do now is, is program our remote transmitters. Now the first step is to take your transmitter off of the factory code setting. If you open up the slide hatch at the bottom, you'll have your battery exposed and above the battery a row of dip switches. These switches have three positions. They have a down, a middle, and an up. Set any pattern you want on these switches that's randomly chosen and get it away from the factory code. Now that I have a pattern set on here, I can open up additional transmitters and set them on the same exact code and they will be already programmed. I'll now slide this closed and the next step will be to go to the receiver to program this transmitter into the receiver. To program our remote into the receiver, locate the P1 button on the receiver. You see the tiny hole here. You'll need something like a paper clip or a small tool that will reach through and push the button. Now that you've identified where the button is, push in on the button that you wish to activate the gate. I'm going to choose the first left button. While holding that button down, push in till you activate the button. The gate will operate and it has now learned the remote. Additional remotes don't need to be learned into the receiver if you set them on the same exact code as this remote. 